Okay, this is part two of a, the force on a charged particle in a magnetic field. Okay, so let's say we have a positive charge of uh, two coulombs, and it's heading this way at four meters per second, and the field is that way. Okay, so uh, you only want to take the part of V that's perpendicular to B. So that's the only part that's going to cause a force. The other part won't. And so, um, in fact, if this charge were just moving this way at four meters per second, the same direction as the field, it would just keep heading that way. It would just go that way at four meters per second. As it is, some part of this is going to just keep on going. Some part of this charge is going to keep on going that way. If this were only going, um, if this charge were only heading up, then let's see, if it were heading up, then its first thing would happen is it get pushed as it was heading up, it get it would be pushed down, so it would go down, and then it would be pushed this way, so it would it would go like this, shoom, and then come around and then towards you and around and then towards you, it just go around like this. That's only if the if the the velocity vector is straight up. Then when it came in, it would. The first thing it would do is it'd get pushed down. Yeah, it'd be pushed down. Then it would be pushed that way. Then it would be pushed up. And then it would be pushed that way. So it would come in like this. And then go around and around and around. But this actually has a component that's carrying it that way as well. So when this comes in, it will go like this. It's coming in like this, and it's going to go like this, whoomp, whoomp, and it's going to spiral. That's a helical path um, that it's following. So it's coming in, and part of its velocity will cause it to go in a circle, but the other part will carry it down the way. Now, just how much force will be on this? Well, the only part of the V that you want to take is the part that's perpendicular so it's that part of V. This is the V that's perpendicular. And if you do the, if you do a little trigonometry, you'll find that this, if this is 30 degrees, this is 2 meters per second because it's opposite to the 30 degree angle and the sine of 30 is a half. So um, that's 2 meters per second. So how much force is being used? Well, the force that's being used then is Q, 2 coulombs, um, times the velocity qv so velocity would be two meters per second you only want the part that's perpendicular times the field then 10 teslas so this force would be 40 newtons that's what that would be 40 newtons okay um, now if you are given this in unit vectors then um, you know, let's say you're, you're told that it's got um, a speed of 4 meters per second, another charge of 2 coulombs. This time the field will be what's in the i and the j direction. So um, what you do with this is you're just, um, it's, it's going to be q, v, cross, b. And th so to get this force then, at least the magnitude of the force, you see how if you if when you multiply this times this, these don't don't give you any force because they're in the same direction. So what you're doing is you're you're multiplying this times the i component times the j because that's the only one that is perpendicular to the um, i direction. So it's going to be two times four times four, so that's sixteen thirty two newtons. So two coulombs times 4 meters per second, times um, 4 teslas. That's, um, that's 32 newtons. Okay. Hey, um, last video we practiced figuring out the direction of the force. But what if you're given the force and they ask you for the field? Let's practice that a little bit. This is the second objective uh, that I gave you. So um, if, you, if this is a positive charge, it's heading this way, and you know that the magnetic force is up, then which way does the field have to be? Okay, well, what you do is you take your thumb and you put it in the direction of the V. Um, it, I'm using my right hand because it's a positive charge. And, so, um, and I want the force to be up. 
So you see that in order for the force to be up, the V is going to be, or the B, the B has to be into the page. That gives you a force up. So the B is into the page. Come on over here with me to this guy. Okay, so the, it's a negative charge. And it's heading that way, and we're told that the force is to the to the left. Okay, so I'm going to use my left hand. I'm going to put my thumb up. Now I'd like to have a force to the left, and so the way I have a force to the left is this way. And so you see how the field is out at us. That gives us a force to the left. Okay, and so the field B is um, out of page. Out of page okay next um, with this guy um, it enters a field and it makes this this semicircle like we've been talking about which way is B now it's a positive charge so I'll use my right hand and um, I want my thumb to initially be going this way so if it's that way um, in order to get pushed to the right see how it's getting pushed to the right at first uh, the field has to be into the page then it will yeah then it will push it down and then to the right yeah so the field is into the page so those are those should be x's remember that those are the arrows the feathers of the arrows going in so b is in okay what if v is um, a dot i'm drawing v like it's a dot that means that it's coming out at us so this 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 particle, let's say it's positive, and it's coming out at us, and we want the for we want the magnetic force to be down. Which way should the field be? Okay, think about that for a second. And I'm gonna go with um, let's see. I want my thumb's got to point towards you guys, and uh, but I'd like the force to be down. And so I'm thinking the field. In order for my thumb to point towards you, and and the force, my palm to be down, that means that the field's got to go this way. That's the way of B. All right. So um, I think I'll make this just a shorter video. So um, catch you in the next video. Bye.